for the 145-pound NWFS professional title. You guys know the rules. I expect you to follow the rules and obey my commands at all times. I have one simple question for the both of you. You want to win? You want to win? Then I expect a war. Touch them up. Ladies and gentlemen at home, for the entire time Jazz was introducing them, that was the best show I've seen in a long time. Watching these two guys pace back and forth, mean mugging each other. And yeah, they don't like each other. Well, that'd be anticlimactic if Frank uh, locks in that guillotine right there, right off the bat. But it looks like Tony's working for the double. And this, go ahead, sorry. You knew Tony uh, was going to come right in and uh, try to smother Frank's attack right away. Uh, that's generally his style, and Frank's uh, advantages are mostly on the feet. So that's how I figured it would play out. How, mu how much of that bad blood comes into play? Is you know, I'm sure Tony wants to punch him in the face, but is it his job not to get away from where he's the strongest, which would be the wrestling, and not get into that, you know, slugfest? Well, I, I think all fighters are different. You know, uh, Tony seems like a guy who's kind of fueled like that. Kind of reminds me of the Diaz brothers, where they 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 let that affect their style, and it works for them. Frank doesn't seem like that. Frank, if you look at, he's relaxed, or at the at the announcements there, he was all relaxed and just pacing. Uh, he, he seems like he's just the kind of guy who, who just you know, comes straight forward and, and sticks to the plan. Sure. And that's smart by Tony. You know, he doesn't want to get into, into a slugfest where he's not the superior striker. He's, as much as he wants to punch Frank in the face, punch him on the, in the face on the ground. He wants to get him down and then hit him. Right now he's having a little bit of trouble getting him down. But Frank's showing some good takedown defense here. And in the early part of this round, you know, Tony's really struggling to get this takedown. That's going to affect his cardio. But Absolutely. He's, and he's taking some shots to, in, in his effort. Tony is, I mean, uh, Frank is landing some elbows and some hammer fists here while defending this takedown. And Forrest, you went uh, five rounds with uh, Brendan Seguin, and you know once you get past that third round, it's championship rounds for a reason, and you don't want to blow, you know, blow your gas tank in the first Right. Two minutes of the first round. You're absolutely right. He gets it. Secures the takedown. Let's see if Frank can get himself back up to his feet. A nice back elbow by Tony Castillo from that position. Frank's trying to wall walk right now. Looks like he's getting up. Yeah, and it's, it's, it really stinks getting pinned up against there as a fighter, but you know, Frank's doing the smart thing. Make the cage your friend. A Facebook friend. Facebook. Yeah, because Forrest, you, you can attest, the cage can be sometimes your worst enemy or your best friend. Yeah, it can... Uh, uh, another slam. Nice takedown there by Castillo. Well, Castillo exerting a lot of energy in, in getting these takedowns. That's the thing. He's still got to go five rounds. And I can tell you that if you get a guy down and you work hard to get him down and then he gets back up, it's demoralizing. Right, so at this point... Tony's got to do something with this takedown. He's got to right. but get his he's got, he's got side mount right now. Yeah, that, he didn't have an underhook with the, with the far arm, and that's why Frank was able to escape. Now Frank right. takes a takedown of his own. And he takes his back. He's got he's, one hook in. He's a little he's high. Up, and Tony's going to shook him up. He's got he's both hooks in. He's got the seatbelt working. Oh, and Frank's got that. He, not under there yet. But he's working for it. Big elbow by Frank. Ooh, Tony's in some trouble here. And I don't I got a feeling just, if he gets this, oh, he's got that he is not gonna tap. He, he but that looks like he's in trouble and he does tap. Ooh, I Frank thought for pushes off of him afterwards. I thought for sure he would not tap out. He would just go to sleep. He said no mas. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the comic stylings of Mr. Forrest Betts. Just remember, Thank the ninth, I'll be here all night. Yeah, the, <laughs> ninth, the 930 show is completely different than the 730. <laughs> that was the statement win from Frank Carabello and Tony Castillo leading the cage. Well, let's hope that, you know, these guys come, have a fight, you get a, a win, 
by Frank Carabello. Let's just hope we can bury the hatchet. As much as I'd like to say that would be the case, it doesn't seem like it is. Well, Frank. there right now. Oh, he's back in. All right. And you know what? Classy move by Tony Castillo. You know what? You came in very impressive with their sportsmanship. Everything they've said, and now they get to make up. This is that's why this.